What we understand about Erdogan's position right now and where Turkey is, given that Erdogan's come back into power and the Luzon's treaty is coming to an end, many are expecting that Turkey will flourish. Turkey will have the opportunity to raise huge amounts of income and rebuild its financial position within the geopolitical region. And this could mean that Turkey could become an extremely formidable force. However, this is not going to be the long-term future for Turkey. Turkey will fall and so will Erdogan. Let's find out how. La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah alaikum dear brothers and sisters. So we hear the news that Erdogan has been elected in Turkey and he's come back. is the only leader that has been elected for two decades of leadership in Turkey. And he comes to back strongly on the back of the support that he has received from the public and also internationally. So what does it mean for the Muslim world in actuality? Will this lead to some significant future for Turkey and the Muslim world? Let's explore this a little bit more. So what do we know about Erdogan's achievement so far? He has amassed significant support within Turkey and the rest of the Muslim world. Erdogan has overthrown military coup in 2016. He has also lifted or relifted presidential powers which allow him significant control over the country. He has completed successful military operations in Syria. He has played an important role in establishing diplomacy between the world and Russia amid the Ukraine crisis. He has been very vocal on the topic of Palestine. He has reconverted Hagia Sophia into a mosque and he has asked for the Muslim world to unite. Now all of these events are pointing towards a significant role that Erdogan will play in the future. And mind you, many people do think that Erdogan's return as a leader in Turkey will actually transform Turkey into a leader for the Muslim world in the near future. This also backs on Erdogan's promise uh, to revive Turkey by 2023. Uh, and this being the 100th anniversary of the Republic's founding, Turkey was supposed to be in the top 10 economies in the world. However, as Turkey has gone through the last few years, we have noticed that it has also experienced significant economic struggle. Turkey has had the highest inflation in history of 85.5%, where Lira was devalued by over 40%. Uh, there have been na many natural disasters in Turkey, fires and earthquakes throughout the country. Global pressure on Turkey has also increased amidst the Russia and Ukraine war. Uh, for Turkey, coming forward or for Turkey not publicly taking a stance against Russia. So the future of Erdogan's Turkey, uh, what we understand is that Erdogan will have a strong foreign policy. He will continue to become a regional power independent of NATO, uh, the European Union and the US. He will likely continue to strengthen Turkey's ties with Russia, President Vladimir Putin, which has been a worry for Turkey's Western allies. And this is not something that we are saying now. This is something that exists in the media and journalists as well as world leaders have been talking about this. What Erdogan needs is money and to bring Turkey's economy back. 2023 marks an important year for Turkey. It is the 100-year-old Lausanne Treaty which will finally come to closure. So the Lausanne Treaty, the main agreement in the treaty was to recognize the new border after the abolishment of the Caliphate in Turkey and the formation of Turkey Republic, Syria under French and Egypt, Sudan, Iraq and Palestine under the British. And the Straits between Aegean Sea and the Black Sea, which was the Bosphorus Straits, are declared as civilian passage and open to all shipping. So Turkey was restricted to not conduct any drilling or oil and gas activities in this area or even charge fees for passage in this area. With the expiration of the treaty after 100 years, Turkey will be able to conduct oil and gas activities such as drilling in the Black Sea, which Turkey estimates Black Sea actually holds 10 billion barrels of crude oil and 2 trillion cubic meters of natural gas. Collecting fees and taxes from passing ships through the Bosphorus Strait will also become a possibility and this will create a new channel or a new era for Turkey, which means that there will be booming economic prosperity which awakes Turkey in 2023. The energy sector where Turkey would no longer depend on Russia, Azerbaijan and Iran. With economic prosperity, Turkey can rise as the region's most influential and influencing country 
around the Muslim world. The rise of new Turkey will bring another dimension and more dynamic geopolitics, especially regarding the ideology of bringing the caliphate back. With these opportunities in sight, many in the Western world are hinting towards a rise of neo-Ottomanism, which is a formidable threat to geopolitics of the region. To put things into context, here's what Erdogan said in 2020. In our civilization, conquest is not occupation or looting. It is establishing the dominance of the justice that Allah commanded in the region. First of all, our nation removed the oppression from the areas that it conquered. It established justice. This is why our civilization is one of conquest. Turkey will take what is right in the Mediterranean Sea, in the Aegean Sea, and in the Black Sea. So folks, as we just heard what Erdogan's perspective is about bringing Turkey back, he's really hinting towards the return of the Ottoman Empire or return of the Caliphate the way it existed before. Now this is quite interesting because exactly the same events were shown to a person who is thousands of kilometers away, doesn't know about Erdogan, and he has seen that these events will happen leading into the fall of Turkey. Now what we understand about the fall of Turkey is that it is one of the most important events that will happen that are prophesied in the Hadiths. It is closer to the coming of Kayama or the major signs of Kayama that Turkey will be lost. So Turkey will be under Muslim control and eventually it will be lost to a non-Muslim uh, occupation. And from that the Hadith say that occupation will come back to the Muslims, so the Muslims will reign again in Turkey. But there is a little middle piece where Turkey is lost. And we see that the events that are happening at the moment, as per Muhammad Qasim's dreams, they really fit into that scenario, that Turkey is reaching that stage where formidable forces will be created against Turkey and Turkey will be lost and later it will be conquered. So let's have a look at Muhammad Qasim's dreams and what they say or what they predict about the future of Turkey. Erdogan's speech in 2017. Erdogan will become strong and will make a speech about the return of Ottoman Empire and its glory. Erdogan will claim that the powers he has been getting is part of the plan. Erdogan will be very proud of his achievements. Evil forces will plan against Erdogan and they will say, quote, this man is very dangerous. After getting this much power, he will be able to do anything. And his plans are dangerous as well. And if he wants to be like the Ottoman Empire, then he will be even more dangerous. Another person said that he should be stopped at any cost. He has already started his mission and he is conquering Syria. Another person said that he might become a very strong leader for the Muslims. No matter what happens, we have to stop him from getting more power. Otherwise, this would be a big problem for us. We have to pave the way for the Messiah. This is Mohammed Qasim's dream from over six years ago, where he has seen the exact events that are possibly now being created within the Middle East geopolitical region. We see Erdogan coming into power, Turkey having economic benefits and eventually this will lead into Erdogan creating a public presence where he will taught the rest of the world that his plan to bring the Ottoman Empire is coming back. And this is something that Muhammad Qasim has seen clearly in his dreams. So what happens next? A horrible plan for Turkey and Erdogan. Uh, in 2017, Muhammad Qasim also saw that the three minarets or towers of Islam, Turkey was one of them, and a plan was made against Turkey. And I quote here, Finally, Muslims will accept our lords, and if they don't, we will kill them, and we will rule the entire world and do whatever we want. Turkey will be destroyed from its foundation, and they will not know about it. As the country begins to fall, it is Russia that will attempt to secure or save it. Russia's support will be further broken by those who plan against Turkey. So folks, here we have another piece of information. When Turkey will be falling down, Russia will provide support to it. However, Russia will not be strong enough and its attempt to support will be sabotaged or will be removed and Turkey will end up falling. And Erdogan and all the people of Turkey will not be able to do anything about it except for seeing Turkey fall. In 2020, Muhammad Qasim also saw a dream where he tells Erdogan about his dreams and about the plans against Turkey. And Erdogan, upon finding this information, gets extremely worried and starts planning for Turkey. 
what happens after this are the events of World War III. And this is what Muhammad Qasim has seen in great detail in his dreams. World War III begins within the Middle Eastern region, and Turkey is one of the first countries to fall in this war. Muhammad Qasim saw another dream in 2017, and he quotes, When I reached there, I saw a severe fight between Muslims and non-believers was taking place. I couldn't understand and didn't know what to do. Muslims were losing very badly. I mustered up courage and went forward and there was a path leading to another place. I followed it and I reached in an open area and I became surprised from what I saw there. The army of the non-believers was getting ready there. Upon seeing it, I said, this is the same army which I saw in many dreams. It destroyed Turkey and Saudi Arabia and now it's advancing towards Pakistan. So folks, there you have it. What we understand from Mohammed Qasim's dream is that the rise of Erdogan and Turkey is just the first piece of the puzzle which will eventually lead to the breakdown of Turkey or the fall of Turkey. And fall of Turkey is going to be the beginning of World War III and Middle East will be engulfed in this war leading this war towards Saudi Arabia and eventually coming into Pakistan.